I don't have music playing. Oops. There we go. About to hit the play button. Hello. Alright, this is gonna take some getting used to. Today's the first, like, art day with the tour box, so. I've been using it a little bit, but not, like, super yet, so. Hmm? Is it not open? Thank you. It might have closed itself. Huh. Hold on. There we go. Mm, I'll just check into that. Okay. I might want to put a button for that later. Also, how are you, Kara? I hope you're good. So I'm gonna get getting used to this. Um... Da, 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 da. Doing okay. Oh, I hope you make good noms. We're gonna we're gonna be drawing some Miku. Probably. Which button? There's definitely a button that's an enter key on here. I put right. The top button. Okay. So I might seem a little bit more like, um... Today I might seem a little bit like... Scattered in terms of like... Uh, a little bit more fumbly because I'm still trying to get used to the tour box with CSP. I'm doing okay though. Hmm. My shoulders are still a little stiff. From Miku. Mm hmm Hmm. What kind of pose do I want to do? Hmm. her magical Mirai outfit from this year.
Having a thing to change the breast size is so wild. I love it. Like, in a good way. Um... I'm not gonna put the little the giant um speakers so probably. Maybe I'll draw... Maybe I'll turn on Miku music later. Hopefully I can also today finish, um, a good chunk of my MSQ video, you know? I have it all- <laughs> 15 months, what the heck? Hi, Kula, how are you? I'm drawing Miko. Thank you for the 15 months. <laughs> Yes, it's me good time. Oh, let 
me check something, by the way, before I forget about it. Um, what time is that appointment? Oh no, I'm sorry. I hope you can... I would say feel less lonely, but... I don't know if streams make you feel less lonely or not. Uh, let's see... Do... no, not do... okay. Okay. I could see for some people, maybe streams make them feel more lonely. You know what I mean? It depends. I think for me it depends on, like, what's been going on, like... Sometimes, like... Seeing... Like, other people, like... Like, collabs are, are dicey for me, whether or not... Um... I like to watch them or not. <laughs> You know? <laughs> to be in a right mood set for it, you know? <laughs> anyway, I'm kind of fumbling with my new tie. Uh... My new art toy. So if I see, seem a little bit, um... Struggling sometimes... That's, that's why. I'm still kind of fiddling with it, with how to use it when I'm... Arting. When I'm drawing. I've, I've got a really nice system, I think, for when I'm using it for video editing. But not yet for um art. I feel like art collabs are hard to host. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Like it's, uh, I really like it. I even, I even think I like it possibly more for the video editing. I can kind of. Like, some of the parts that would require a lot of, like, clicking and stuff... You know, I could do... It feels nice to use it for the, uh, video editing stuff. But I'd say. Mm -hmm. Art is just gonna take some time getting used to. And, and to be honest, unfortunately, because of just my schedule... Most of my art is done on art days and not off stream any right now because I'm doing so much video editing. So. I want to get through a good chunk of time of text transcribing. Um today for my MSQ reaction video. Then I gotta go through and cut the EX trial. Hopefully I can get through that pretty quickly. Cause then I also will probably try to work a little bit on the side for the um, P5S video since we cleared that. So, but I think it's okay in that case, uh, for like the P5S, if that one takes me a little longer. At least I think so. I know you guys will always say, oh no, Mimi, it's always fine, take your time. But, I mean, I do want to get it like, you know, you do want to try to grab like the, the prime time to do these sorts of videos, you know, you know what I mean? You don't know? I see. Well... 
Yeah. If I'm gonna post a reaction video, it's also good to try to grab it during the time where it's like new because that's when people are gonna actually be looking at it. That's when people are gonna be looking for videos of reactions to this, that, or the other thing. And if you want to get in on those early clicks... That's... That's why a lot of people will like... Like why a lot of like guide makers for 14 especially tend to pump out their, their guide like super fast. Even if it's kind of bad because of that. Oh, I see, I see. YouTube Shorts, I wanted, I want to make more, but you know what sucks is that, like, 14 content, I feel, is, like, super duper hard for it. Because, literally, just... <sighs> what is it? Um... The, the, the video, like, w with the stuff for, like, static, like, it doesn't crop well to, um the aspect ratio for um shorts you know like my art chatting does because Usually, the, the funny thing is the chatting part, so you don't even need to see what I'm drawing. Yeah. And I feel like whatever's gonna be funny when it's playing 14 is often not gonna be a good... S like, the battle content's horizontal. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh yeah, do you want to see my pile of merch? No. That's not what I wanted to copy. There you go. There's my merch. Yeah! I am poor. Now, actually, not a lot of this is expensive, expensive. The, uh, this thing, by the way, this thing. So this thing back here, this is actually like, um, it's like a, I cut it out. So like, you see those dotted lines, you cut this out and then it like unfolds to be like a little like platform background thingy. And they have like on this part of the inside is like little things you can use to like stick and decorate and cut out and stuff. So, I'm pro- I'm definitely gonna do that. <laughs> It'd be great for a background for little Mimi and little Miku when I get her next year. Um, these are the eyeglasses. These- these guys are the eyeglasses, uh, cleaners. Um, this is- this is I already bought. This is little da dashboard Miku. She has a little clip on the back of her head. I don't know how where she goes, but she can sit on your dashboard. 
And then this, this is my, my, I have to take a picture with all the other ones. But that's my, that, this is my tea thingy. These are the Miku Haichus. This is actually just a sticker from, um, one of the booths that was free. Because I arrived pretty early, so I actually got, um, a lot of stuff. This is the CD, which I haven't imported yet. And it came with this book. Unfortunately, I couldn't... There are some buttons here, you know? You can see some of the buttons, but the, the ones with the key art, um, were sold out by the time I got into the gotcha corner. Unfortunately. So... Yeah. That's, that's my, uh, my Mik Miku haul. I should show you some other pictures. Hold on, let me go scroll up. I haven't uploaded them to the thing. Um... Oh, yeah, here's the... Here's the fan before I came... Oh, nope. I don't understand. Why does Discord right-click copy image not fucking work? <laughs> So here's the fan before I got home. You can see like, you see like how this has got these like streaks in it? I hate it. <laughs> but I did clean it up a bit and you can also see Kaito's dead soulless eyes because I fucked up and forgot to give him eye shines. I did, I did take a picture but I forgot to upload the pictures to Google Photos. So I don't have them right now. And you can see like, they don't have quite the right color for Miku's hair. Like they have, like they have this like green green and then they have like this blue blue, but they don't have like Miku blue green. But anyway, this is what it was like when I was coloring it there. Um, I have pictures that have it like finished, but I didn't um upload them yet to my Google Drive, so I don't have them right now. What are my other pictures? I have pictures of actually me, me, but you're, you, like, me in meat space, but you're not seeing those. Sorry. Also, hi, Doc. Yes. Here is my doodle that I drew on the Pia Pro wall with the Kiktopas. And this is supposed to be a leak, okay? This is supposed to be a leak, not a Y. Like, with the one for tenth. Right, right. Tenth, I wrote the H really sloppy. It was well, I'm working on this little like bump where the two pieces connect. It was hard to find an empty spot. Anyway, tenth omedetto, and then I drew Miku and I drew Dean because I draw Dean every year because Dean is my favorite. I don't care if it's Miku concert. <laughs> I draw what I want. <laughs> Let's see if it copies the correct picture. Yes! Look at this cool Dolphy with the Hoppy! I wish they were like... I know that this is like a full-size BJD. I'd love it if they had like a tiny one for like Nendrites. <laughs> I actually briefly thought about buying the glasses, but I think they would be too big even for a Nendroid. God. BJDs are so pretty. Like, for Nendroid dolls, the Hoppy? No. They make up for BJDs, and it's always the, the Dolphy booth that ha has them. Unless you mean the Dolphy size, yes. This is like... This is a this is like an average size. This is the size of the Yashtola one, I think. Um, but I did see a full, like, life-size BJD. I was talking about it yesterday. Someone had her in a wheelchair. <laughs> What are some of the other good pictures I shared that I can show you guys? I kind of want to get this. I want this. I want this so bad. I want this so bad. I want this so bad. 
I want it! But it look when it comes out! I'd have to get it shipped to Joey's. Fuck! I want it! Does premium Bandai ship overseas? Does premium Bandai ship overseas? I want the cute one. I want this color. Does premium Bandai ship? Oh, you know what? I might actually look. Because yes, I want this. Only for some products. I mean, there are middleman services. I'll at least look. I'll at least look. It's a pot. Yeah, you're right. Like, because it's Miku, there's a possibility that they might ship it overseas. You're totally right. Um, other cool things. Other cool things. I didn't upload everything that I took pictures of. Um, look, here's an expensive... Hopefully, copy... Nope. I don't know why, but sometimes Discord doesn't copy when I right-click copy. It's really fucking annoying. Here's a Miku guitar! Look how cool they are, though. Don't look about the- don't look at the price, though. <laughs> I don't- no. No, 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 no. I don't play guitar. I technically used to play the flute, but I don't remember how. But look how cool it is. All right, and here's here's our queen non-filtered picture. I haven't like adjusted any of them yet. Here's queen. They actually took out all of the old statues too, and they're on the like so back here there's like little displays for the different uh older concerts. On the other side is the statue from that year if they had one. So, I got to take pictures of all of them again. <laughs> Oh, and I think you missed it, but here's the hall. There's a little, like, Miku Copic thing. I was, like I said, I, I kind of want to do it. I definitely want to do it. Um, and I, yeah, I thought about doing um, a, 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 digi a traditional art, but I just don't have the space. That's definitely a thing I'll consider more when I actually have a desk to work with, you know? So when I have an actual desk to work with. Also, there's, th this is one, two, three. Those are my three glasses cleaners. They're just cute art. Like at this point, I just buy them because the art's really nice. I did get to this, I, I was peeking at the glasses that they have. Uh, I think it's Washo. They have official ones. And the staff was just, like, encouraging me to try them on. And I know they're, like, trying to get me to buy them. And I, and you know what? I really wish I could see past my nose. Because, like, they have, like, a mirror for you to look. And I'm, like, like getting, like, super close. Because I can't see. <laughs> nah, they're really nice. And I'd love to get them. Heck, uh, some of the Miku ones are really nice. But they are... I mean, glasses frames, especially designer frames like this, are, like hundred dollars or something and then I'd have to figure out how to get prescription in them let me actually look is it washal palette or something uh, what's the name Miku glasses washing palette sorry Oh, uh, some of them do ship overseas. Okay, so Washing Palette sometimes ships them overseas. Let me show you them. No, I actually want to go to Washing Palette. Okay. I want to go to the JP page. So... Right, they were physically there, obviously. So... Let's see.
Sorry, this might be taking a bit to look. So... I wanted to see the... Not the items! I want to see the actual glasses! I do have... Where is it? Oh, they made a new simple glasses cloth, I mean? Oh, I have a different one. They have a bunch of different glasses cloths, so... Um... This one, I really like these guys, these top and under rims. Though you can see they're like $200 just for the frames. I kind of really like them, like look how nice they are. They're really nice. The top rims, I think, I like more. I think they're thinner. They're more metal. Like, they look really nice! Oh, and then they come with a can badge. Like, they look just nice, you know? They did do... Um, oh, this is... Sorry, this is the wrong one. Wait, they did Yudu Camp? Damn. They also have, uh, Miku... PC glasses, which, like, that'd be nice, except there's no point because I'd have to wear contacts to, like, use them. They do have the, they do even have the size here. I remember the lady was, like, saying, um, so here's, like, the Miku basic ones, right? The basic Miku, like, regular frames. Do they have the... I mean, Miku's just got a bunch, obviously. These are pretty cool. Like, they're nice and... St they're they're kind of simple. I don't like the... Sh I don't think the shape looks that good on me, though. I think... I don't like this part. I think these are the ones that's the art for. I don't like it that it opens up weirdly on the side. I know there was a Kagami Nadine and Len. Oh, I didn't realize the pages changes color. That's cute. Makos are pretty cool. They're nice and simple. Where are Nina and Lens? Yeah, here they are. Nina and Lens are too big for me. Unfortunately. They're way too thick and plasticky for me. They don't look good. I don't like them as much. These ones are cool. Right? I love the little bit on the ear pieces, right? It looks really nice. But I don't usually wear full frames. I usually wear like half frames nowadays. What do they have? Yeah. And so that these are the this is the back. Look at the back of the um Look how cute this is! Look at the back of it! This one's also super colorful. Like, look how cute it is. It has logos for everybody. So cute. Oh, they made a file folder. So, it comes with a bunch of different glasses. Cloth. Oh, that's cute! Shit, now I wish I bought it. <laughs> this is this a big glasses cloth? Holy crap. It is! It's 40 cm by 40 cm! Why? <laughs> they spelled Gurasis. They. they gla Gurasakurosu Collection Fairu. Glasses cloth collection fail. No! <laughs> Oh, and it comes with the special one. Oh, that's cute. Wait, does Snow Miku have glasses? What? Oh, no, just glasses cloth. Okay, phew. Scaring me. Wait a minute. Oh, these are the ones. These? These? Oh, man, these are cute. This, this, I do have this design. This glasses cloth, because look how cute this is.
They're, they're, the frames are really nice. They're just usually too big for me is part of the problem. I did try a couple of them on, right? With them. I And the staff the whole time was just like, wow, your head is like really small and your eyes are really big. And I'm like, god damn it. <laughs> I know I'm gaijin. It's <laughs> fuck. I and mean, I'm small. Anyway, that we're, we're okay. I'm done looking at glasses. But I'm like, man, yeah, I want to buy these, but like, I'm super picky about my frames. And then there's also the matter of like, I'd have to get them prescription lenses. Like, I can't just like my glass. My eyes are so bad. I have to get prescription, and I can't like just do that at the event, you know. I forget, what are the dimensions on this one? Do they- Oh, I think I might have worn them off. I was gonna check what the dimensions were on the Toho glasses. But I think I've worn them off. Because I know that these glasses are a little wide for my face. A little bit wider than I used to get. But, um... Like, honestly, if they have, like, a physical store or something, or a place where I can physically buy... Yeah. I mean, it was nice to see- try them on, because, you know, like, they're there, all of them, right? Honestly, if they have a physical store, I might actually- because I want to get a pair of PC glasses, right? I want to get a pair of frames with, um, PC lenses. And I was thinking, like, honestly, if they have a physical store, I might actually consider going before I leave Japan and getting a pair of PC lenses. Because, yeah, the real concern is, like, I could buy the frames. Like, that's not a problem. The issue is I kind of need, th like, really thick lenses. I remember when I, get, when I got the Alice Margatroid ones that I have now. Um, there's two stores that ho- that, uh, sell the, um, what is it, um, that sell the Toho lenses, the iMegane place, the one that sells them, like, iMirror, sorry, iMirror, that's in Ikebukuro. That one, the one with, like, the butlers and stuff, it's really, it, it honestly, like, it was such a fun experience. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was a nice atmosphere. It's not like they did anything, like, special. Like, they just had a really good atmosphere. That's all I'm gonna, that, that, that's all. Okay, like, had a really good atmosphere. Um, so there, they could cut the lenses, they could get the lenses cut. But the other place, Animegone, which is, like, their store that's over in, like, uh, Akihabara, said they couldn't because my lenses were so bad. So they probably needed, they were like, we needed, like, special material. We couldn't do it. They, we needed, like, special tools or whatever. Just because my eyes are so bad. <laughs> so I'd have to, like, find out, you know. I don't, I, I don't think it was because I was gaijin. For the record, like, I, I, I know that, like, I talked about, like, um, the one time with the computer store place. I don't think they were doing that because I was a foreigner. Because, like, I went through a whole eye test with them. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, I went through a whole eye test with them. Because I was, like, super w worried. Well, no, I think it was at Eye Mirror that I actually got an eye test. Wait, no, did I get it at both? I might have gotten it at both. I was worried that... So, first off, obviously, I hadn't bought lenses in, like, years, right? Um. <laughs> I hadn't bought glasses in years, so I didn't know what my prescription was. So, I was just like, I don't know what my prescription is. I mean, these are my lenses. I think they're fine, but I wasn't sure. I told them, like, I feel like my eyes might have gotten worse. So I did take the eye test uh, at both of the places, right? Um, and I remember the eye mirror guys were just like, they checked the lenses themselves, like they measured them that way. And they're like, nope, they're the same. And I was like, huh, well, okay. 
<laughs> I thought my eyes could've, should've gotten worse, you know? Oh no, I think she was saying cause like, you know, like... What is it? Compared to like... Asian... Facial structure? Like, uh, my eyes are obviously like... Bigger. <laughs> I mean, I'd hope so too, but I mean, I went through like... What is it? So like, I, I guess it's just things in the distance, right? Um... Sometimes I feel like I have to like squint for them, right? I guess it's just because they're in the distance. And maybe my glasses aren't fully clean. <laughs> and it's hard to get them like perfectly clean, you know? Try to get your glasses perfectly clean, you know? So, like, sometimes I feel like I'm having to, like, struggle to see something clearly in the distance. And I guess it's probably just because my glasses aren't, like... Like, it's really hard to get them perfectly clean. Or something. But I used to have to get new lenses literally, like... What was it? Every six months when I was a kid? Wait, is it really? It really only affects me like at a distance though. I really only notice it when like stuff's at like a distance, so... So you have a pizza? I mean, maybe. At the time, anyway. I don't know, it's also like, stuff just- I mean, like I said, like, I, I was like, okay, maybe it's just... Something else. But yeah, they said my eyes are the same. It was good to have that confirmed, though. I mean, it was, I think it still was better that I had them give me another eye exam. Because I hadn't had them checked in since before I moved, right? And I obviously didn't know my prescription anyway, so it's better to have it confirmed that they are like, in fact correct to the prescription, you know. So. It was an experience though. Oh, I see, I see. It was a fun- it was an interesting experience, though. You know, you've seen that, like, the eye exam thingy in, like, anime, right? Where it's, like, a little circle with an opening. They actually did that. They actually did that. <laughs> yes. And obviously, I had no problem get taking the test. But yeah, it, it was it was still good to have them confirm and then check the measurements on the glass. I'm like, nope, they're the same. I'm like, okay. Because I mean, I had never gotten them checked in years since I had been, uh... It wasn't really like a concern, you know? Because like, nothing seemed wrong. So like, I'm not gonna go out of my way to go get them checked. <laughs> like, if my eyes seem, like, really bad, like... then maybe, but... I would have gotten them checked again sooner, but, like... the only reason I got them checked was because I wanted to buy cool frames. <laughs> my other frames are starting to really show, like, wear and tear, like... The little rubber parts that were on the earpieces are like coming off. So. Oh, really? I mean, I know that they there's a bunch of other things that they say. Hold on. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't want to clean my glasses. I also just want to use my cool glasses claws. 
I literally just buy them because the art on them is really nice. And I mean, they're functional. I can have a glasses cloth everywhere. I have a glasses cloth everywhere, on every table, in every part of the, the room. I mean, also, it's just really good for cleaning glass, like, the tablet screen, too, you know? Screen cleaner, glasses cleaner, same difference, you know. Oh, when did I get this little droplet of... Oh, I must have spilled my tea a little bit one time. Maybe I was laughing at something I sp I mean, the thing is, right? I do have a lot of lenses. I do have a lot of, sorry, frames. I have a lot of frames. But most of them don't, aren't like a good, they don't have good lenses in them, in them for me anymore. Like, I know we used to keep a lot of, um... A lot of my glasses because obviously like it's a good idea to hold on to them just in case like an emergency happens or like you break a pair by accident and now you have to get it like fixed or whatever and you don't have another pair so But they're at my parents' house. So yeah. And now, you know, here, I mean, I never brought any for a, a, a reason, right? Like, I was, I, I didn't think I needed to. But obviously now I do have a second pair here. Just in case. This is not in the middle of this. Hang on. You know, I buy my chore box so that I don't, like, need to reach over to the keyboard. And I'm still reaching over to the keyboard because I'm so used to it. Yeah, maybe if Washington has a place where I can uh, get them done with a professional, like, optometrist doing the lenses, maybe I will actually consider buying a pair of... I, I, I want to buy a pair of uh, PC glasses. That's the thing. I want to buy a pair of... Um... Oh, really? Maybe. Power to him, man. The question is, which Miku did he marry? There's so many Mikus. You know what I mean? Like, so here's the thing. Technically, there are like a bajillion Mikus because there's one for every song. So I mean... That said that BJD was probably like 10,000 yen. That was probably like 10,000, that tens of thousands of dollars. It's expensive. Like a BJD of that size is incredibly expensive. Yeah, Miku isn't an AI. She's an idea. She's a, it's like marrying your guitar, you know? It'd be like marrying your guitar. Uh, 
I'd love to marry your guitar. <laughs> Do it! Well, I actually don't know if anything's stopping you. Maybe you can't. I know- so you guys know that one DS game that had, like, the girls? Well, I mean, like, legally. I don't know about the laws. I know that... What is it? The one dude that married the DS girl? The DS game? Girlfriend thingy? Um... What is it? He actually did it tongue-in-cheek. He didn't actually, like, mean it seriously. I just don't know about... Leak- Like, I don't know if it's, like... I don't want to say illegal, but, like, I mean, like, if it's actually, like, officially- I think it's kind of officially recognized? But I don't know if that's what Japan allows or otherwise. Yeah, I think it's more about, like, what I mean more of, like, I don't know if it's allowed is more, like, I don't know, like, if, like, it's, like, officially recognized kind of thing. <laughs> but I do know, yeah, the guy that married the, I think it's Love Plus? That one three, that one DS or 3DS game was... He did it as a... Yeah, as a tongue-in-cheek reaction. He probably had his... You know, he... You know that guy probably had, like, his mom and dad be like, When are you gonna get married? When are you gonna get married and give me grandkids? And he's just like... Hmm. <laughs> and he's like, Never ask me about grandkids again. <laughs> You know, you probably had a bit of that. Let's see, I gotta figure out how to draw this star that, like, looks good. We like this? This was a few years ago, though, that- that happening. <laughs> Probably. I'll adopt the twins. I'm gonna adopt the Alphino- I'm gonna adopt Alphino and Alize. They're mine. Legally. No, they're not. I- I obviously wouldn't. But yeah, I think the guy, like, did, like, some interviews or something, and it was kind of, like... He, like, he said, like, it wasn't, like, a Like, I don't want to say it wasn't 100% serious. I mean, I guess it wasn't. Yeah, you know? Like, he kind of meant it, like... As, like, a tongue-in-cheek kind of thing. From what I remember. Like, that's a power move, honestly. Mm -hmm. Do I have a shift key button on this thing? I don't see one. I don't see one, damn it. I'll have to find a shift button. Because I want to make sure that this is a uh, perfect size circle.
Oops, wrong button. There we go. Oof. Oh, sorry about the tippy tappy. We're having a discussion, apparently. Uh, I don't know how much you guys know, but um, the group that got a bunch of world firsts in a row, TPS, thoughts per second, apparently are having a moment uh, about not winning the world race again. Like, I don't think people should, like, get at them. Like, for them not winning. I don't think that people should be, like, making fun of them. But apparently they're they're having, like, a... They on honestly, they did have a kind of, eh, like, what are you doing, bro, type reaction. Um, <laughs> when they didn't get Dragon Song. They were the ones po they were also posting a bunch of like videos uh, through DSR prog. Um and then they didn't get DSR world first and they had some pretty copium tweets. <laughs> All right. I think they what they had like three world firsts in a row or something. All right, let's see. Can I draw a hand? Can I draw this hand? Thumb should not be here. <laughs> wow! Do it! Marry your green tea! Do it! But what happens when you drink it though? Does it. Wouldn't that kill it? You get like... Wouldn't that technically kill it? That doesn't... That's not the same cup. You're not married to that cup. Unless you're marrying the cup. Then... It doesn't matter what's inside the cup. Right?
<laughs> you said it. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's like I don't think you could marry the 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 second cup. That would yeah, that would be like marrying like family members of your other cup. <laughs> so hi. Tars <laughs> full of tea. <laughs> Stop. Splatoon this week, by the way. I get to find out if I can pick up my game at midnight. Well, maybe not exactly midnight. I won't go at exactly midnight. I'll go close to midnight. A little bit after. Just like... Be like, hey, uh, can I? Honestly, okay, so here's how I'll know, like, if it's po- Like, here's one way I'll know, is that if I go over there at, like, a little bit after, and there's other people, it's probably a yes. Especially other Japanese people, you know? Like, cause they won't, you, you know that nobody's going shopping for like, people probably aren't going shopping for like electronics goods usually at 12 at night. So if they're there, if there's other people in the store, then we're going over to the store, then it's probably true that I can pick it up at midnight. If they just tell me no, we can't, I'll be like, okay, I'll just go home. <laughs> you know, I'll just be like, okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, Mag's even one-upping you on the terrible puns. Get it together. Get it together, dog. Oh yeah, I finished my islands, what I wanted for my, um, what is it? For my farm? I got the gobu. I got the gobu. I only had a wee- I- I- That's actually another reason I was a little late today starting art stream. <laughs> the Gabu time slot was up! At 43! So I had to wait. Because the next one wasn't gonna be until well in the stream. So... <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna try. I got it on my third attempt. My third thrill. 
Oh, I didn't save this. <laughs> I should save this. Da -da 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 Meme cool. There you go. There you go. His hand is way too big. Yeah, I mean, yeah, my thumbnails are always, like, super simple, so... Because, yeah, they're always, like... The thumbnails end up getting shrunk way more than you, like, realize. Like, I know I work pretty big with the art for it, but it's more just because, like... What if I use it for something else? You know, I love being able to rotate the canvas. I never was able to, like, easily do it like you do in, um... What is it? <sighs> um, Photoshop? I could never, like, find an easy... Maybe there is, and I just don't know it. But since moving to CSP, like, it's so much easier to rotate the canvas. But the problem is that it still really disorients me whenever I'm, um, what is it? Whenever I have it rotated. <laughs> Alright, this hand is still looking too big. Still don't like it. <laughs> Where's my deselect button? Is it this button? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
You would physically rotate the Cintiq? Oh my god! That sounds hilarious. I wish I could afford a Cintiq. I went with semi-budget, um, screen tablet. I think I've also heard more like, I don't want to say iffy, but like... So-so feelings about Wacom, so... I don't know. Like, I feel like... What is it? I feel like Wacom has gotten, like, some, you know, what do I say, like, people having, like, I don't know about them anymore, kind of feelings. You know what I mean? Like, from a couple of artists, like, they'll recommend, like, these other brands over Wacom. It kind of feels like the... What is it? The situation with, like, Photoshop? I don't like this either. <laughs> I'm not gonna bring up the our, the the discussion from a couple days ago. <laughs> I might in the future if Laika ever acts up. If, like, it gets all uppity about British English. Just you wait. I'll make him mad. I'll make him mad. I'll make Laika so fucking mad. <laughs> I'll make Laika so fucking mad. Because it's funny. It's content. Yo, yo, if, if my static can say some very cursed ass shit. Some cursed ass shit. I have every right, every fucking right, to try to make them mad for my for my enjoyment and capital C content. My turn. My turn. Basically, spelling wasn't decided. Magpie, Max, the the spelling wasn't decided. Before the you versus no you debate was thing. Right? So, just Britain decided to have a you. And America decided to not have a you. So both of them were decided independently. So neither one... Is better. Because English spelling is a shit. Say, okay, Mags, you want to make him mad by saying, what size is your computer screen? What size is your computer screen, Doc? What size is your computer screen? It's an in inches, isn't it? It's an in inches, isn't it? I actually found this out because uh, Japan labels them in inches too, and I'm like, why? 
Why? <laughs> Japan does it too, like... I think computers are always in inches, it's so... I mean, I'm not even, like, I'm just saying it's weird when you think about it, right? <laughs> but he knows it's in inches. He knows it's measured in inches. I have a 17-inch laptop. <laughs> I just see how conversion of the files. <laughs> yeah, but they list computer size, screen sizes, in inches. Japan does it too. What is the what is the website listed as? It listed by inches, doesn't it? Amazon JP does too. See, the point is that measurements don't actually fucking matter. As somebody who doesn't understand measurements very well, anyway. <laughs> like, you can tell me all you want. Oh, this is 17 inches, and I'm like, okay, I guess I don't really know. You tell me that's like a meter, and I'm like, I don't really know how big that is. So sure, it could it could be not a meter. I don't know. I, it doesn't matter which system it's in. I don't understand numbers. <laughs> I don't understand. Some students like when I like there's like oh like it's so hot today. It's like 33, and I'm like or like it's like 40 degrees, and I'm like uh, sh sure. Um, and they're like. Oh yeah, you don't really understand Sarah and Celsius. Like, no, it's... I don't understand numbers. Temperature doesn't make sense to me. Sorry, I'm... No, it's like even temperatures. Like, I don't understand Fahrenheit. I don't understand Celsius. The answer is, I stick my- You wanna know how I decide what to wear? If I'm uncertain? I stick my arm outside. And I wave it around, and then go, hmm. T-shirt weather. <laughs> That's it. I don't understand temperatures. <laughs> students think it's like, some students are like, Oh, like, is it cause like, you're used to the Fahrenheit? Like, oh right, it's cause you're used to the Fahrenheit system. So like, no, I'm not used to the Fahrenheit system either. I don't understand numbers. <laughs> I think in some aspects... So, there's actually this video, um... By Answer in Progress. Really interesting channel, by the way. They just have a bunch of, like, weird things. So, apparently, this... I'm not the only person with this problem. The... One of the Canadians... In the group... Also has this problem. Um... She made a whole video about it. And she found out that the reason is she didn't spend enough time outside and like knowing what the number of the temperature was. <laughs> and I'm like, ah. Oh. Apparently this is a I my childhood slash whatever it just fucked me up, you know? Cause like I didn't bother to check the weather. So even if I went outside, like so the few times I would go outside, like, I didn't know what temperature it was. I didn't care. I didn't check what it was. It was more of a matter of, like, I didn't check what the weather was. Like, so I didn't know the number. And so I would just... Figure it out. By, like, oh, am I too hot? Am I too cold? Like, I'd guess. I didn't, like, associate a feeling... With... A number. Yeah? I never really associated... But yeah, that's that's basically it. Like, because I never really... Associated numbers to... Temp... Like, what I should wear. I never really understood... The, the, the number on the, the phone app. Like, yeah, sure, I could go look at it. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand it. It doesn't... it doesn't process in my head.
But yeah, I stick my arm outside if I'm uncertain. Or I walk halfway out and go, mm, no, I need a jacket. And I walk back inside. And I go get a jacket. <laughs> I just can't really connect the number to the weather. You know? I just can't really connect numbers to things. It's a problem also with how I don't really understand. Like, I can look at all of my shit that I have here, right? And I go, I don't know how many boxes I need. I don't know how many, how many boxes this is going to take. I can't conceptualize that in my head. At all. So. And that one dude coming by, the guy for the one company coming by it and just like looking at it going, hmm, okay. And then like they tell me like they think it's like one meter squared. And I'm like... You just spent seven- you spent seven minutes in here, and we're like, yep, that looks like one meter squared. And I'm like, what? How? Fucking magic here. I just can't conceptualize that sort of stuff. Hopefully I'm not the only- I mean, I'm, I'm probably not the only one, you know. I don't send a lot of things, that's the other thing. So yeah. I don't pack a lot of things in boxes. No! What do you mean mean? I just can't conceptualize it. I'm a very indoorsy person. And I usually don't mail things. Or pack things. I have no concept of it. Being mean, because I don't... I, I was a very indoor kid. Hi, Emmy. No. I'm not gonna take it. I was a very indoor kid, okay? Don't be mean. And I didn't have any reason to check the weather numbers. So... Hmm. Like, what does a kid need with the weather numbers? I don't need to know that. I can just put... Like, to be fair also, remember that in the US, like, I'm gonna spend most of my time just going in a car, traveling somewhere, and then going inside, so I mean... Even if I did know the weather? The weather numbers? I don't know if I ever would have really fully conceptualized them anyway. Honestly, the only thing that changes... <laughs> Stop. <laughs> In the end, the only thing that changes when I, like... When the weather changes is whether or not I wear a cart... I don't need... Okay, so I'm... I'm in... I'm actually kind of, like... Like, see, the thing is, if I'm gonna spend time inside, I want, like... Like, a cardigan or a ja or a light jacket. Because... Because, like... Sometimes people put the AC really cold, and I get really cold really easily. So, like, I need a jacket. So, I always carry, like, a light jacket, right? Or a cardigan. 
even in the summer, even when it's like disgusting out in Japan, I put a light cardigan in my bag because what if the AC is too cold when I get to work? <laughs> if I'm going out just by myself, I won't bother. But even actually, I do have very, 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 very thin um, hoodies that are more just to like, so Japan has this thing. I don't understand it. Apparently, like some people don't trust sunscreen. Apparently, like, that's, a, I guess, a thing. Because, so, have you ever guys, um, you know, like, arm sleeves, right? Sorry, I'm, like, stretching. You guys know, like, those arm sleeves, those arm socks? A lot of old ladies wear those arm socks in summer. Right? Because they don't want to get sun they don't want to put they they, they want to protect their arms from the sun they also usually carry around those like reflective umbrellas yeah so here they're like usually worn by like ladies especially who are like super concerned about their skin get like being damaged by the sun and i'm just like i remember i asked like one student who I felt like I could probably ask this to. I was like, why don't you just use sunscreen? She's like, she, and I forget exactly how she phrased it, but like, it sounded like they didn't trust sunscreen to be enough. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not gonna say it's like great, but I wouldn't like not trust it that much. That I would rather like suffer like being hot with arm sleeves on. Like that just sounds more uncomfortable. I'd rather like like maybe suffer maybe suffer the um like i'd rather suffer the like the slight um sunburn than be uncomfortable with those arm socks i don't know You know, that's fair if you don't like the texture of it. That's fine. But yeah, like, the way she phrased it, it sounded like they don't trust it. Like, they don't think it's enough. I mean, isn't it, like, isn't, like, a small amount, like, good anyway? I don't know. Maybe that's some bullshit my mom told me because she wanted me to go outside. And she didn't like that I was so pale. I know my mom was like trying to like force me to get go outside so that I would have skin color like I I didn't mind being pale as a ghost. I'm gonna be honest like I think a lot of the things that like I'm probably more insecure about are yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, like, I can imagine, like, it's not like I, you know, like, completely avoid going. I mean, I just didn't have any reason to go outside. Why would I go outside if I didn't have any reason, you know? My mom, at one point, like, literally was just like, you're gonna go sit outside in the backyard even if you're gonna do fucking nothing. I was like, what is the point of this? 
It's, I mean, like, you could be like, oh, I mean, it is healthy, but, like, also, like... No, literally just sit in the backyard. There's, there's... And, like, there's, there's nothing to see. I don't think you quite understand. I, I, I don't think you, you, you could quite understand how nothing there is in, like, American suburbia. There's nothing to see. Like, it's not like we were even allowed- we weren't even allowed to go walk anywhere! Because what if we get hit by a car? But I mean, her reasoning was like, trying to get me to, like, not have pale as heck skin. Which, like, that's just gen- that's genetics and technically your fault. <laughs> No. I don't know if my room got a lot of sunlight, though. My room might have had bad sunlight. I mean, I would, like, close the curtains in the morning, because it was super fucking bright, but... And it's not like I didn't have to... Like, we also had to, like, walk to the bus outside, and, it's like, it's not like there wasn't any time where I would get, like, sunlight. But yeah, I was told to go outside because my mom didn't like me not having... My mom didn't like me having pale skin. She didn't like how pale my skin was. Or at least that's what her reasoning she told me was. That I need to get some skin color. Like, I have skin color. I didn't like the way it looked anyway. Like, I didn't like tanned skin. <laughs> like, on me, okay? I should clarify. I didn't want a tan- I didn't want to get a tan. I don't... I'm perfectly fine being a ghost. Yeah, it's like, it's like adults being like, you gotta go spend all night outside. Makes the outside like completely barren. <laughs> like, I don't know, you made it like this. Oh no, my parents also implied that I didn't have, like, they were like, why don't you have as many friends as your sister does? But I digress. I should move on from this. Not for like... I just think. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know. I definitely think it's kind of silly that a lot of like... You know, they'll be like, oh, our kids spend too much time inside. And then, like, when you look outside, you're like, well, where is the kids gonna go? Because you'll be like, oh, you can't go there. You might get hit by a car. Oh, you can't go there. That place is dangerous. Oh, you can't go there. I have to drive you there. Like, oh, I, I don't know. Like, where do you want us to go outside? <laughs> this is a particularly American problem, you know? I think it's a particularly American problem. They're like... They, like, move to these, like, suburban areas, but that have, like, nothing, and then, like, beast, be like, surprised Pikachu face and their kid doesn't go outside. <laughs> like, I don't know, you moved us here!
you know? It might look nice on the outside, but like to, a, to an adult. I think the thing is, I think they look at it and like think, oh, there's these other kids. It's like this This is a residential area, you know, there'll be lots of other families or whatever. But then you eventually realize that just like, there's nowhere to go. Some of my neat, some of my friends, like they had a nearby park that they could go to, but like my area didn't. And it's like, well, of course I'm not going out. Like there's nowhere to go to actually play besides another person's house. You know, like, you kind of created this problem yourself. I feel like that's a lot of America. I feel like that's a lot of America. They're like, oh, like, why aren't the kids going outside? Why are the kids doing this? Well, because you made it a, you made it like, it, you made it difficult. <laughs> you made it difficult. Or, like, not worth it. Or, like... I mean, in my parents' case, like, oh, you can't go there. You can't go walk to the convenience store. You might get hit by a car. And, I mean, they're not wrong, but, like, you made it like this. <laughs> like, hello? And to be honest, I didn't really like some of the neighbor kids. One of them was a bully eh, for me. <laughs> so... Like, she was okay when I was, like, younger. But then eventually, she was a bully. So that sucked. <laughs> There you go, there you go, there you go. Yeah, I don't know. The one girl made fun of me because I was super skinny. And small. I'm gonna... I, I don't know. Kids are dumb sometimes. pretty thin but then also it's just like you but like I was thinner than most cuz my eating habits and yeah all right can I draw this star this is weird to draw anyway
There's this one kid that I teach that has been slowly, like, actually, like, he's been slowly getting more comfortable, like, actually, um... He had this actually one lesson where, like, everybody else, I guess, was, like, on vacation or something still. And it was just him. And I felt a little better. I was like, oh, no, this could go horribly if he's, like, not... If he's not up for it. Because he's, like, the weakest one in the class and usually, like, struggles to try to speak up. And, like, I know this. And I try my best to, like, give him special attention when I can do it because it's... Like, there's a bunch of other kids in the, in the room. Like, it's kind of hard, you know? It's just me. But, like, that one time, like... I don't know. I felt like it... I mean, I think he actually, like... I think he came out of it just like, Oh, I think I finally get it now. Like, I think he finally, like, it clicked or something for him. Where's my AC thing? I think it finally, like, clicked for him. And, like, he finally, like, felt comfortable with it. He's still a little... He was still a little shy, like, this week. And the weak spot, like, he's still, like, on the shyer side. But I think he's finally, like, I don't know. Getting more comfortable with the class. I think he's, like, a little bit better with it now. Which is good. It sucks that, like, I couldn't, like... If I can't get him that, like, direct attention that I wish I could. But it's just the nature of there being so many kids. <laughs> but it does make me happy, like, when I see, like, the kids are, like... I don't know, there's something really nice about it when... The kids kind of, like, grasp something. Or, like, as I don't know. There's something better, I think, about, like, the kids' classes. The way, like, I don't know. There is something nice, like, when a student also, like, just, like, finally, like, gets it. Right? Like, when they finally, like, get something. But there's something different about when a kid does. Like, when, it's, when like, the younger kids do it. I don't know. I couldn't really pinpoint, like, how or why. Because I don't think they're necessarily... Well, maybe the kids are a little bit more, like... I don't want to say loud, but, like, noticeable in their reaction. Like, when they finally, like, 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 oh! Like, they tend to be a little bit more, like... I guess, yeah, loud about it. But, like... I don't know if that's... Like, it's not always true. I don't know. Alright, I just gotta call it ink the eyes. And then we gotta clean up the liner. But I think also there's a matter of like with the kids' classes, I see them like every week. So I do feel like you can kind of actually see the progress. The adults... Sometimes you see them every week. Sometimes you don't. It depends on the, the adult in question. And also like their, their schedule. Whether or not they decide they're doing every week. You know what I mean? Like whether or not they can even do it once a week. In their scheduling, like for their with like work or whatever. So 
Yeah, their schedules aren't as consistent for the adults. Some of them are regular. Some of them aren't. So. Oops. And some of the adults, you can slowly kind of see them get better. I think there are also, like, there are some adults that, like, even when they are consistent, like, they just... They just aren't progressing. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want to be like, oh, it's because they're adults. I think it's in part because, like, those adults haven't figured out the best way to, like, study for them. And I'm not even going to say this, like, I know the best way to study for myself, you know? I think there are some adults that, like, they don't really progress. And, like, it's, it's a little frustrating to see. Because, like, these classes ain't cheap, man. I know they ain't cheap. <laughs> so it's like, you're paying this much money and you still haven't figured out like the best way for you to, um, I don't know. I maybe I also feel a little bad, you know? Cause it's like, I don't know what to do to help you. Yeah. Or like, I wish I could help them find like the best way for them to study. adjust the front bang in a sec. So I don't think it looks good with the... Okay. Yeah. I mean, it really is. I guess that's why I've been, like, super frustrated with it, I guess, more than lately. I've also been getting more anxious when I get to work, so that sucks. There we go. Now I just have to clean the liner. Duplicated, so I never have to lose any of them. Mm -hmm. 
Sure, though, I don't know. What if he says it later? Wait a sec. I erased that wrong part. <laughs> the arm liner over here. I think it's a little too thin. His bite becomes a fox? I see. Oh yeah, and Joey sent me a, a thing he'd like me to draw. Maybe we'll draw that too. I think he, cause he wants a uh, chat block, chat box cover, right? Mm -hmm. Just kind of cleaning up some light art here. Maybe we'll put the flats down and then I'll take a breather and do Joey's thing. Apex leg hands! Yeah. <laughs> Apex leg hands. Oh, 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 oh. Did you guys see? Magni calling out a stream cipher in Valorant. Holy crap! Holy crap! Here, I'll, I'll, I'll just play the. Uh, he was playing with Ollie, Cali, Kobo, and. Altair. Altair was like keeping it cool, right? Altair was kind of like, he was like, he was realizing that it was happening and he's just like trying to like not be super toxic. Um, hold on, let me find it. I'll just play the audio. This is fucking hilarious. 
do. They're stream nice. sniping. These guys are stream sniping. Nice. These guys are stream sniping. Nice These guys go. are stream sniping. All stream sniping? They are definitely stream sniping. What? Five million percent. They are one hundred percent stream sniping. They don't have it. They don't have it. They don't have it. even win. All terror types get magged. <laughs> the dude stream time says y'all suck. No scope for they still lost, by the way, which is the fucking hilarious part. Mag, Let's go. Go. <laughs> All terror goes nice stream typing nerd. <laughs> I hear. <laughs> hey, if you're still watching, tell your mom I'm gonna be a little late tonight. Stream's still going. <laughs> Seapole, I'm gonna go a... back in the VOD and screenshot that when he jumped <laughs> over the wall. I'm gonna like take a screenshot of that and go to go to the Kinkos and get it printed and put it up on my wall. I'm gonna see it every day. I'm gonna get jazzed up when I'm doing my warm-ups in the Kovacs lab, dude. Seapole, you watch out. <laughs> Seapole, you better watch your fucking back. Des has got your number, bro. Oh, Don't man. forget, Seapole, if you're watching, what day is it? Sunday? Tomorrow, I'm picking you up after school, remember. <laughs> Don't take, don't take the bus. <laughs> don't take the bus, remember. <laughs> Ollie squeak gets me too. <laughs> it's it's that AC pole. What day is it? Sunday? Remember, I'm not remember not don't take the bus after school. even says like wow stream sniping and you still got beat by anime <laughs> i went back and watched more of it because i'm like oh my god i have to see more of what was it poor kobo though she's just like i have no idea what's being said but i'm having a good time <laughs> Because Kobo's English isn't like as as solid as like Ollie or other Indonesian members, but she she does her best. But yeah, oh my god, Bangji just goes at it. It's hilarious. It's it's freaking hilarious. And then yeah, Ollie's like freaking squeak just gets me. Ollie's squeaking just gets me. Ollie's squeaky laughter. I've heard that Ollie's kind of mellowed out more recently, so... Yeah, yeah, I don't even, like, I kind of personally avoid a lot of FPS game streams, but I went back and watched that just because of that clip. I'm like, I have to, like, if that was, like, part of it, like, there has to be some more gold hidden in there. Also, apparently, like, Altair was like hitting like was getting kill after kill after kill 
a couple of times. I think I was watching one of his other streams like early morning. I think it was he was playing Enter the Gungeon or whatever. And he's just having this chat like how he used to be like super toxic. <laughs> he used to be like super toxic. And he's like try it like he's reformed now. <laughs> like he doesn't like playing like that anymore. But like he still play like obviously like he still plays well. I need to break this up so I can draw easier circles. No, you're not, Emmy. Emmy's not reformed. Don't listen to Emmy. I think Altair did have a couple moments where he definitely slipped in some slightly toxic remarks. For an understandable reason, in my opinion, if someone's gonna stream snipe, you can you can you can have a little bit of fun in your comments. You can go a little bit harsher than just any other random, right? Right? You know? You can give him a little bit of a a little bit. A little bit of a... of a... bonk. You know? You know? You know what I mean? Like some harsh words without using gamer words, you know? You can be pretty toxic without having gamer words, you know? Why would I ever... I literally said, Emmy, that I would rather change my specs than pay you to make my weapons. <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. I changed my specs. <laughs> I changed my spec crafters. pain in the butt circle. Oh, I forgot her little hair stars and shit. Damn it. 
Yeah, I really like the colors too. I just realized I forgot the hair stars and stuff. The theme this year was Retro Future. These are usual Miku colors. I think the thing I like the most, though, are, uh, is, um, what is it? The hair color? I like the gradient in her hair a lot. I actually have another figure, another outfit, Miku, that has a similar gradient on her hair, and I just really think it's pretty. I'll worry about the, uh, the white palms on her gloves later. Like, a lot of these details I'm gonna have to actually draw with, like, no liner, so I'm gonna get there. I'll get there. Oh, I put them on separate layer. These are actually white dots in her hair. And then she has the white streak that's in her outfit here.
Oh wait, no, this isn't. This is black stick. She has a black, a dark color stick. This has a black color to it. There you go. Now, this has... This is blue. No, no, no. Okay, right, so now we gotta do like the detailing lines. And then we have this color here, and that's on the edge of this. This is so tiny. Oh, whoops. 
I just realized I forgot to do these stripies. The stripey. It goes across here, but then it goes down like this. There we go. Nice. Uh, I need to do the hair gradients and stuff. So first I have to do the hair white. The white streak. Right? I've seen Ghostbusters. Emmy should have seen Ghostbusters. that is. So like, Ghostbusters is just like... Good. Like, it's a- it's a classic. Like, even I've seen an Emmy, what the fuck? That's messed up. I don't remember Ghostbusters 2. I think I only ever saw Ghostbusters 1. Reboot is bad. I know the reboot bad. Um, but yeah, like only like the I only heard like I think my dad thought that the only like the first one was really worth it, like good. And I think I've seen bits and pieces of other ones, but I've never actually like. I don't remember them as much as Ghostbusters, like the first one. All right. Inks and colors done. Yay. Look how cute Meme Koo is. I love her. 
I love you, Miku. <laughs> Ghostbuster game? I don't think so. I mean, I know I talked about, um... Yokai Busters, which was like a love letter to Ghostbusters. Targeted towards an audience of Japanese children that would have absolutely no idea what Ghostbusters is or have any real connection with it, but you know what it is, you know, weird. Oh yeah, and Joey keeps saying, you know that little dance, like the dance from uh, the little. Hold on. There's that little like. Uh... Hold on, Stall has one. Stall has one. Where is it? Oh, Lena has one too. Most people have one! Oh no, I should get one! I mean, I want to make one. This one. Stall jam. I technically only have to draw like two, three frames. I want to have a Mimi jam. It's not like I don't... I just... <laughs> Hold on. Let me... Let me save this image. Can I... It's, I think, like, three. So, Joy also wants this, like, Haru. But, like, holding a can of monster. Well, let me see. Uh, get GIF frames. Where did it save? In the download folder. Like, having this? Or you mean like having a... Wait, this image or like... <laughs> or like, oh... <laughs> The the Mimi Jam. Split frames. Oh wow, there's like five frames. Alright, I am going to download them though. Is that wait, I didn't see which one that was a yes to both? Maybe just both. All right, well, we're not gonna draw that today. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna start this, this thing. Cause I want it, so the thing is, I want to change my icon on Discord, like my main one, to the cinema roll Mimi. But then Joey and I wouldn't match. But I can't imagine Haru having um cinnamon roll hair. I don't know, I just can't. Haru's character's hair is usually short. I still draw a pretty rounded faces. I don't know. I feel like this might ruin it. I don't know. We'll see. Mm -hmm. 
You know, I kind of want to, like, have... I don't know. I guess it should be, like, an actual moth's, like... How do you... Part of me wants to, like, add, like... Like a handle, so like it actually looks like the fucking meme. But I think that would look dumb. I'll actually make it look like a monster can in a bit. Don't worry about it. Is that the dude's, like, chair or something? That's his backpack? Oh, Tori doesn't have a backpack. Haru doesn't have a backpack. I mean, of course. Yeah, I mean, that makes total sense. I, I, I'm surprised, like... Maybe, like, did, did Death Stranding not do good and then they didn't want their product in it anymore? hand is too big. Mm -hmm. Joey also- you know that one meme where like you have the one person like crying in bed like... Um, with the alarm clock? Like it's at a weird- it's like a- it's night- it's supposed to be like nighttime. <laughs> 
but like someone's like doing obnoxious stuff outside. Joey wants to have Haru like in the window being obnoxious and then like it's raid time and Mimi just crying in the bed. <laughs> It's not wrong. How does that hair exactly look? Yeah, instead he's on a lawn. He's on like a lawnmower though. <laughs> But yeah. I don't know if Hara should have the glasses or not. I guess so. I meant to ask him if this is the one he wanted or the other one. If he wanted a different one. His ideas are always silly. I will make it look more like an actual monster drink, just not right now. to do with like my style because I tend to keep things pretty simplistic. I don't know. I feel like the the way that you'd have to like do these eyes is really weird for my stuff. I don't know, I always struggle trying to make memes because they always have like these like... They always like, like a billion lines! And I feel like it loses some of the weirdness of it, you know? Yeah, that means there's some... To me, it's like they have like this, like, I don't know. Maybe more like this?
Yeah, I've been trying to get that, but like... Because one looks like it's like a lazy eye. Like, I don't mean that in like a bad way. Oh no. I'll send it to Haru later. Yeah. Alright, one other thing. Dun 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 dun. No! Shoot. I wanted to open the frames! His ray, it's like this one. That's the level I'm allowed to go. I feel like that's the level that I feel like works. Joey sent me. Wait, why can't you open a bunch? Why won't you open? What file format is this? Why does it save the... I'm mad. Why would you save the GIF images, like solo images, as a GIF? CSP can't Open GIF images. <sighs> it made all of the frames, but it still saved them as a GIF file. Which is so dumb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
work on meme crew though. Just a little bit. I'm being a little quiet. Just, I guess, working. Maybe a little more tired than I realize. A little bit. I don't think it's that bad. I can probably get to my usual end time. my usual end time. I'm gonna put my headphones around my neck. My ears are a little tired from, hope, from wearing those. Can you guys hear the clicking of my tour box, by the way? I just realized, like, I took my headphones off, so I don't have the noise canceling. Oh, wow. Huh? At least for me, it's kind of loud. Oh, no. It looks like a... No, you guys can't. The noise gate on OBS catches it. Nice clicky sound. I wish I had time to watch more things. I also wish I had the, the motivation to watch more things, you know? I don't, I used to watch like a lot of new anime every year. And I just don't, you know? I've been also like super lazy about watching uh, Precure this season and last season even. I'm kind of worried about moving back and then like falling into a bad pattern though. Um, where like I never end up looking for jobs. Hmm, I don't think there's been leaked job no. I know technically I've been like, oh, maybe I'll just like go like full ham on like the stream stuff, but I don't know. I feel like that might be irresponsible because it doesn't earn a lot. 
Not really much at all. You know? Or even the art stuff. I feel like it just... I feel like if I weren't to have like an extra job, that it would be kind of irresponsible. Especially because I want to visit Japan again, you know? Can't expect Joey to foot the bill. Can't expect chat to foot the bill. You know, eventually, the money that's set us that's been saved for a super long time will go, will will be gone. So, but like, I know that like some people have been like looking for jobs. Like, it's almost its own full time job. Like job hunting. It is practically a job. And how much, like, energy has and time has to be put into it, you know? Especially because, like, I have trouble. With, like, getting stuff done. I feel like I struggle even more with that sort of stuff. working on super seducer what's that i hope it went well ah. we're just drawing miku oh that's super cute what the heck that's such a super cute phrase that's a cute read message oh it's an S fmb game i see well, I do hope that your stream went well. And if you need to take a breather, feel free to. We're just we're, we're just drawing Miku. I usually play a lot of Final Fantasy 14. Uh, right, introduction, yeah. I usually play a lot of Final Fantasy 14. Uh, but every what's it say? Tuesday Japan time. Um, where I draw, and then um. Most of the other week, most of the rest of the week, I usually play 14, though this week, on Monday, I'll probably be playing Splatoon. But I see, I see, that sounds pretty wild. I hope it was funny, at least, and how ridiculous it is. Yeah. Yeah, we're shading it now, kind of. I always put these shades, like, on this, um gray layer i do a gray layer and then like i shade here
I have to keep an eyeball on the time. Sometimes variety. Yeah, lately not so much because we got the new patch in 14. So I've had stuff I want to do. Wow! Thank you for the follow as well. Yeah, I guess technically we'll be back to a little bit more variety on Mondays after raid if we're running extra. Because I'll be playing Splatoon probably. Probably. It depends on my mood, you know? Do I want to play Splats? Do I not want to play Splats? It's a very important decision. Oh, Sierra Apollo, thank you for the follow. Also, welcome to the Comfy Cave. <sighs> yeah, I'm worried about saving games like that because, like, oh, they're flavor of the month, so, like, I don't know. That's why I was, like, thinking about rushing kind of into it, but then it's like, yeah, I want to play Splats, and Splats is going to be even more of a, um. Also, hi, Tomo! Hope you're doing well. Yeah. Like, you kind of, like, what? I kind of did stray kind of when I did it. Yeah. You ran into a game breaking glitch? Really? about just like getting into those like flavor of the month kind of games late you know like i feel like there are like two good times to get into like popular games one is right when it comes out right because then everybody is all hype about it. And then the second is if it's like big enough, like you go back to it like years after the fact. And then like people are like thinking about it again. I know, but I don't want to like say like, oh, you know, I, I, I know it's like, of course, like, oh, numbers aren't the most important thing. But sometimes like it is important to consider like, when's the best time to do certain things. If they're not like, connected to like real life things, I don't know. Well, they're not connected to, like, a specific time period. I don't know. That's what I mean, like, if it's, like, a good game, I think people will come back to it after the fact. Like, if I were to play Undertale, I'm sure that that would get, you know, like, no matter what, like, Undertale is big, like, now, like, uh, you know, anybody would come by for it, right? Because it's Undertale. But, like, you can't really tell if that's, if, if, like, a game is gonna be like that. Um... Right, the, right off the bat. Yeah, and it's a Miku. It's uh, the magical Mirai outfit from this year.
Because I even think, like, games like Omori might even fit into that, like, now, like, if you play it at any point, like, people will want to see your reaction. Maybe I'm putting too much thought into it. Yeah, I was I was at it. <laughs> I was I went to the last Tokyo one and spent a lot of money. Omori was good. I enjoyed it. I played it like uh earlier this year. I think in like January or something. I don't really have a lot of, like, highlights from it, though. I don't have a lot of, like, highlight, um... ...videos or anything from it. Yeah. That's what I mean, like... I feel like certain games will hit that, like... ...fans go feral and will, like, interact with anything, like, anybody... Like, I think 14 kind of is that sometimes, you know? Oof. Stretching, sorry. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I feel like every... I feel like that's like, you know... I feel like every Kickstarter is just gonna be scuffed. I think you just kind of have to go into it like going like... Shit's gonna go stupid. It's like shit, shit, it's just not gonna go well. Not really for anybody's fault, you know? Because I think, like, I mean... Was Omori before or after the Mighty Number no. 9 fiasco? Because I think that was like one of the big turning points. For like people realizing like the shit that goes down with um... Kickstarters. It was after. Wow. Because I know... For example, the, um... The Homestuck game was a shit... Was a clusterfuck, too. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, I think I sent mine pretty quick. Cause, right, I don't have the, um... I don't have that ads incentive program that they're trying to roll out. I don't have that, um, myself. So, the, the difference between running the longer ads versus the shorter ads for me is a matter of, like, the revenue split, which is, like, to me, not really worth it. It was just the revenue split. If it's got like, um, like if I get that offer, like if it's a decent amount of money, then I might do like their big like, um, thing. But right now, like I only have the, uh, the additional revenue split, which to me is just not really worth it. 
And my ad breaks are pretty short. Because what is it? Like, it's just a difference between either like 33% or, um, 50%. And like, ads don't, I mean, honestly, like, ads aren't worth a lot of money on their own. That even the rev, I, I don't think the, I don't think the change in revenue split makes it worth it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, like, I know that there's the ads incentive program. In that case, like, you can get, like, a couple hundred dollars or something. A week, depending on a lot of... There's a lot of factors to it, so it's not, like... It's not everybody's gonna get that amount. Um, I saw, like, because... Like, that's... That's worth it to up the, um... The ad there things is but there's episode one and i think there was episode two i never bought episode two um because what pumpkin's kind of a it, it's a shit show right now and i think that's being nice I think calling it a shit show is like on the nice side of phrasing. <laughs> yeah, they were supposed to have which company was it? Um oh, oh. I forgot which company it was. But yeah, yeah, it was her video, even, um, where, like, they threatened her with, like, legal action or whatever for just summarizing what had happened with the Homestuck fandom and, like, not necessarily hiding some of the negative stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And that was when I was like, oh, I, I'm not gonna buy the episode two then. Like, I kind of liked what they were doing, right? And then, and then Hussy being Hussy. Hussy is a... Hu oh. Man. What goes on in that man's head is an enigma. Like, he just went and made it worse, from my understanding. Which is apparently just a regular occurrence with this man, like... Okay. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't even dissent either, too, right? Like, it was like... She's just summarizing what was going on and what information people had. And it's like, well then do you want to like provide different resources or what? And then, you know, they never did and... And then Hussie's just being Hussie, just... Doing really, like making really dumb comments. <laughs> From what I remember, so... Hot mess. So yeah, I think it was that video I saw before the, um, what is it? Before the act two, or I guess episode two came out. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna buy it.
I'm still getting used to like where certain buttons are. It's throwing me off so bad. My new toy is great, but all of my stuff's in like different, like I just have to get used to how this thing handles. Yeah. It's kind of throwing me off, but like not terribly. It's just a couple of the ones that I, I haven't used, like, so a couple of the buttons I got used to now so far because I was using it a lot up until this point. And now like the ones that I'm using for like this, like the, uh, the alt button and the deselect button and the, and like, that those ones I didn't use so much up until like now. So I'm having to get I'm like having to I'm like struggling. Just a little bit. Oh, I would have no idea, yeah. Maybe they might have posted somewhere, Shadow. That's the artist for it. Maybe they posted it somewhere. Who knows? You probably have to like look on their um like personal website or something. You probably have to pray that um they posted uh in an, in good enough Japanese that the computer can translate it to. Unfortunately, ah, uh, you've tried looking before. I'm s yeah, that sucks. All right, let's see. Let me do this one too. Whoa, not that big. to these darker spots. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna probably have to adjust this one particularly because it's where the pink starts to be fade. Where it starts to fade in. I'm gonna make it even darker. Lock the transparency. Ooh, not that dark. I like it, but I think I need to soften it a little bit more. I get more of a soft transition. Lake. Maybe. Right now we got splats on the horizon, so for now I'm not looking for anything. Plus we still haven't even, um... We still haven't even played, uh, Ryza 2. Nah. We'll definitely play Ryza 2 eventually. Just hasn't happened yet. There's so many games to play, what the heck. So many games, not enough time. No, I don't own Ryza 2 yet. It's on the to buy list eventually. <laughs> Plus, we still have um, which game is it? Um, uh, Slime Rancher coming out eventually. Oh, you got your scrap card! Congrats! 
Have you tested it out? Make sure you test it out first, too. And like set up your scenes and stuff. Slime Rancher is gonna be so much fun. I love Slime Rancher. Yeah, I think the only like triple A that's I mean I guess is it triple A? The only game that, like, I'm looking forward to from, like, big-name producers is literally... Besides, I guess, Splats? It's, um... What is it? What's the word? Final Fantasy XV. <laughs> that one got pushed back, though, didn't it? Fifteen got pushed back a little bit. Sixteen, yeah. Sorry, yeah, sixteen. Sorry, you know what I, you you know what I was talking about. That one got pushed back a little bit, right? Because of COVID. Apparently it's done. Okay. No, wait a sec. Let me drop this color somewhere. Okay. The pink should be done first. to deal with this. Oops. Didn't lock the transparency like a goof. There we go. I see, I see. So, oh, that's another FromSoft game? I see. I had no idea. I don't, my, my lack of playing um, Western games is showing. <laughs> Super weeb. Oh wait, they are? It feels very Western, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't give her hair eye sh hair shine. Oops. 
Oh, I see, I see. Wow. Either way, I mean, I know it's not my type of game. I don't like those kinds of, like, punishingly hard things. I don't think it, like, whenever anybody explains to me, like, oh, it's so much fun, and, like, they tell me about it, I'm like, I don't get it. <laughs> Very much not a game I would vibe with. Yeah, and the aesthetic. I don't think it looks nice. Sure, it's graphically it, it's graphically like high quality, I guess, but it's not really pretty to me. I think that's what a lot of people wanted it to be, so I guess it makes sense, you know? That seems to be the way people wanted it to be, so... I mean, I guess it's fine that they followed the... what people wanted. But yeah. Axel's <laughs> too, too. <laughs> But a lot of people liked it, so I mean, I'm sure they're just gonna keep kind of going with it, so... Today. I'm actually almost done with this, Miku. We're getting to the part where I do all, like, all of my finishing touches. But also, thank you guys for coming by. Oh, uh, right. My name is Mimi or Mimi or Vimi. I have a lot of nicknames. Most of them are fine. Um, I like to draw. 
Uh, obviously. Um, I also like to play Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, that's usually what I play. Um, I do savage reading and also casual content. And just kind of... Kind of be pretty comfy. Also, uh, Kala Maurice and Metal... Me Metal Top... Well, too full? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, thank you for the follows. Welcome to the Comfy Cave. Yep. We're also gonna be playing Splatoon 2... 3! Sorry. Splats 3 when it comes out this coming... Well, I'm gonna play it off stream, but I'm gonna play it on stream too on Monday. Yeah, he's still here. Yeah, I have a lot of I have a lot of like the old gang that like I have their little like plushy friend. <laughs> Metal Chaos was a mecha game. Whoa, we're kind of talking about a bunch of games and stuff lately, right now, while I work on Miku. Oh, I should be able to finish this today. But yeah, yeah, yeah. And thank you! Technically, they're... This is all... My model's also my art. It's a little bit older now. It's about a year... I did this about a year ago? Did the model about a year ago now, huh? Let me put in her eye shines. I'm also learning... I bought... Um... This cool tool called a tour box. And I'm still kind of getting used to it. It's a really cool toy though. I like it a lot. I'm getting really I'm slowly getting used to it because it's a lot it's a lot of different buttons that I have to like figure out like what what do I do with these? <laughs> A unicorn? Alright, so let's see if I can get this. This is actually usually like this is like the last thing I do. So I'm actually almost done with this piece and then I'm not sure what I'm gonna work on next. I actually don't know. No, wait. I've been wanting to do more like... Only the inside colors. Wait, there's a new statue? Like... Wait, where? I knew you say in Tokyo, but like, Tokyo is huge. You have to be more specific than that for me to know. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Tokyo's... Oh, I don't think I've been there. Maybe that's why I don't know. I see. I do have to say, like, I'll be honest, I don't... I don't travel, like, weird places as much. Oh, wait, by Diver City? Maybe I've been there. It's the one by Zep... Zep... Dive... To Diver Tokyo or whatever, right? By the Zep... Place? One of the... There's, like, two Zep... Uh... Concert halls there? Tokyo and Diver City, right? Because then I've actually been there. Wait. Didn't they just have a big Gundam there? Is that gone?
Oh, they did. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because I saw. So, what is it? The Primals for 14, their first concert was there, was at Diversity. And I remember seeing the giant Gundam. But that's quite a few years. That's that's quite a few years ago now, right? So. Hmm? All right. I forgot to put these on a separate layer. It's confused. Nah, I think I'm gonna do this like this. I'm gonna leave those lines alone. Mostly. Okay. Oh! Hero, thank you for the follow! Welcome to the Comfy Cave! Dun, 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 dun. There we go. You got my one in twenty twenty. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Okay. I'm still sad that they moved. You know that... You know when you play Persona 5, that green car that's in front of that station? That actually was gone by the time the game came out. I'm so sad. At least I think it was. That giant, uh, that, that green, uh, truck... Not truck, sorry. Train car. Oh, I mean, I've already seen it. It's just sad, because it's like... Oh, sad. No more green car. I've been to it, you know, I've been over there quite a few times. It's still just sad, you know? It's gone now. It's not even Persona, it's just a... It's like an old train car that they made into like... What would I call it? Um... Like a tourist... Uh... Help center thing? So, it's just sad. Yeah, like one of those little info booths. Yeah. It had been around for a really long time. And I forget the reason why they decided to move it, though. Mm -hmm. I forget the exact reason. Maybe a little darker. Yeah, I've seen it like a bunch of times, obviously, because I'm like super close. So for me, it's not too much trouble to go over there. It's just I have to kind of have a reason. I think I've visited a couple of times because of like uh, pop up shops that they'll have. So I remember being like kind of salty about the um 
Which one was it? Um, I don't like... I don't like the new one. Um, uh... Which, which shop is it? I don't like the new, uh... Tokyo... I don't like the new, um... Uh, yeah, I think it's Tokyo 109. I don't like their new logo. <laughs> I don't like it. Change bad. I don't think it looks as cool. <laughs> I just don't like the new logo. <laughs> You see a similar... They updated it when they did, um... Neo Tuui. So Neo Tuui features a thing similar to the newer logo. Oh, it was grumpy. <laughs> I was like, no. I don't like it. Hmm... So thank you. All right, this is here. Oh, I need a darker, darker. We're getting close to being done. Whenever I get to like inking, like adding the color to the lines, I always get to be like, oh, I'm almost done, I'm almost done. Even though I still got like a good amount of process left. Alright, that said, I do want to do a little bit. So this has to be like. Mm hmm. There you go, that's a little better. And then we just gotta do it over here too. I really like having this thing to adjust my brush size, though. Like, this is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. 
Find Wi-Fi. What the heck? <laughs> that was wild. And did you ever find it though? Did you did you find it in your dream or no? What the heck? I like the way her eyes came out. The heck. Oh, I need to stretch my hand. <laughs> Give me like a sec. Oh, ow. Oh, I just realized. I just forgot. This part isn't shaded. <laughs> it's shaded, but it doesn't have the right color on it. Technically, there's supposed to be. Yep, there's supposed to be some stuff in it. Like an Amoogus? Wait, the spaceship? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna stretch for a sec before we add some finishing touches. I like the eyes a lot! What the heck? I like the eyes a lot. They came out really nice. Well, Among Us is Among Us. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, give me a sec. Stretching takes me like a moment. <sighs> you know what? Wait, I want to do one more thing for the liner. Yeah, it's really subtle. Because it's like just dark colors, but I like it a lot better that way. Yeah, I have a arc. I have a, a glove that I use. Um, it does help me. My main issue usually is that I like grip my pen with a desk grip. But the the glove helps me not do that. Oh goodness, excuse me. I'm also glad that this outfit of Miku, I can like I don't know what your guys' opinion of it is, but I like having the little, like, redness on, like, the little, like, pink on their shoulders and on their knees and on their elbows. But I never can, like, I never, like, this po- like, I didn't- I only did it on one of the elbows, the bent one. But I did it on both of her shoulders and both of her knees. I love it. 
But it never- it doesn't always look good, so I don't do it on everything. It really depends on the pose, I think. It really depends on the pose, whether or not I think it looks good. Yeah. Alright, now we gotta do something for the background. This is just checking for weird spots. Okay. Nope, we're all good. Cool. She would make a good sticker, huh? This is not the color I'm gonna use. I see why I go with green. So this is like the color of the pen lights that you use. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. Yeah. Softening it a little bit. It's very subtle. The uh that This brush is too thin. Nope, don't like that. I don't like my R. Thank you. 
Well, it looks funny. I didn't like it. <laughs> there you go. I don't like that placement. Damn it! There we go. Ah. Mm. Uh oh, it's lagging. The stroke is too thick, it's lagging! Like, actually, he. <laughs> Nothing looks fine without it. Yay! Meme cool! It also would look good without, like, the circle behind it, too, as a sticker. Like, the pose and stuff. That's actually what the file is labeled. Meme cool. Oh, gosh. It's 3 o'clock. Well... Unfortunately, I do have a doctor appointment, my usual, uh, in about... I have to leave in about an hour. No, wait, like an hour, like, closer to like two hours. <laughs> it's not until five. I can close this. Also enjoy the sketch and ask him his opinions, and maybe I'll work on Mimi Jam sometime. But I'm also going to work on videos, which I can't really, uh, do on stream. Yeah, no, literally. I'm like, I have an appointment at 5 p.m. Okay, I do nothing now. Nah, it, honestly, having the stream, like, I don't know. It, it is good. Yeah. Um, it means I get some stuff done. But yeah, I do definitely want to, like, uh, work on some video work as well, so... I want to try to get through transcribing a bunch of stuff for the MSQ video. Um, so that way, uh, hopefully I can get it done soon. But also, I think my hand needs a little bit of a rest now, so... Let's go find someone to say hello to. Yeah, it's more just I think my hand needs a breather. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Usually this is... How many hours are you at? 
four or five hours is usually about like where I have to take a break of some kind. Right? So. Like, absolutely, I have to take a, some sort of break. Um. Can't look at people that are doing. Uh, prog. <laughs> I can't look at people doing prog, so. Because <laughs> I'm going blind for six. Um, yeah. So, right. We're, I think I know where we're gonna go. Uh, but before we go, if you haven't already, my YouTube has a new video as of this morning. It is our Pandemonium Normals highlight reel. Um, if you are interested in that sort of thing, you can see my static silly shenanigans and, and the like over there. Uh, hopefully, uh, this Saturday will also be the continuation of Atelier Liza highlights. Um, I think we're on part three? Three? I don't know. It's two or three. Um, so Riza will continue on Saturday. Today was, uh, that... Then, next week, pray for me. I want to be able to finish my MSQ for next Tuesday. And then hopefully EX4 will be the Tuesday after that. Or I'll push, or I'll put it on a Saturday. I might put that on a Saturday to, like, have something further down the line. And then hopefully we'll get to P5 prog soon. I still haven't done anything for Stray highlights. But I have prog videos to work on now. So those take a bit of time. I have nine hours of footage to go through for P5S. <laughs> Took us nine hours to proc that, so I had to go through nine hours of footage. And I get to start counting P6S this week. Hopefully we get our clears. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I might work on more art later, but I definitely will post this to my Twitter, which if you haven't already, here's the twi Twitter. No, social. There. The Twitter's there with the YouTube. That's good enough. <laughs> the Twitter's there. So I post, I'll post this art in a little bit. Um, thanks for chilling. We're gonna go say hi to Quan. He does, he has a no 6.2 spoilers. So everybody should be safe there. Um, and... Press wrong button. Um, yeah. I just, I, I can't... <laughs> Here's the raid message. We're gonna go say hi to Quan. I am gonna rest my hands. And I will see you guys tomorrow for P5S Reclear. And good prog. Pray for us. Well, actually, first pray for us with the uh, the Reclear being quick. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> and I, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.